All right, and hey there, Proxies, and this is Prox right here, guys, and welcome back to another episode of the Paper Mario 64 Let's Play. So if you guys missed out during the last episode, we went about out with Huff and Puff, and now, guys, what is going to happen out here with it today is that we are going to be jumping on over to where the Shiver City place is going to be happening and getting ourselves, hopefully, onwards to uh, reaching out over to where the other last of the Star Spirits is going to be located as well, too, in the process. Now, we do have that battle with Ken C. Koopa, but I think I'm going to be holding that off until my own time uh so i think i should be able to still go and take them on i think after what i'm done with chapter seven but if not uh, that's okay we'll just have to just go and miss out on the opportunity for the Ketsy koopa guy uh but with all that being said in mind let's just go and head back over to toe town because i think we are literally done here within this place no more exploring around here in this area we already got all the different ultra type of stuff that's going on and sushi's still freaking out with, even when we go uh in and out of uh out of the flower fields type of section, which I don't know why that is, but okay. So I think with that being said in mind, do we need to go and head back over to the sewer section? Because I think I vaguely recall that that is what we do need to go and do at some point. Uh, so let's go and figure out where the sewers is going to be, and I think we'll have to go and try and figure out on a uh, on a way on where we're going to be having to head over to to uh, well heading on over to next. So if we go and head on over back to here. I think there could actually be an extra pipe somewhere around in this place. I know that uh, we may have to use the power of sushi to kind of guide us over to it. But hey, there's actually a block that I don't think we ever went and uh, hit into here just yet. But we got ourselves a whole bunch of glue buzz. So if, if anybody needs to uh, get some extra EXP, I think we're okay for now. But, huh. Let's keep on heading down from here. But Bloober! Uh-oh. Well, I guess we found out the right way to go. Uh, but there we go. We got ourselves another little mini boss battle. We got ourselves the Bloober battle. Okay. So I think to start with here first, we should probably go us out for a chill out. And then we'll have to go us out for sushi and uh, kind of go for a water blocking just in case so that we don't have to get ourselves completely uh, annoyed by that uh, ink that's happening. But this guy's going to be a little bit more powerful, it seems like, from the other type of bloopers that we've seen. But anyways, let's just get this all done and over with here. Nice. All right. So now we got for four turns and we got ourselves some water blocking. So perfect. Nice. So we have ourselves a little bit of some extra defense for a little bit. All right, just have to watch out. Look at that. It doesn't even do anything, man. Okay. Up next, first, uh, we should probably go and maybe start setting up for some S jumps, I, I guess, as well, too, since we kind of have this badge now here with us at this point. Uh, let's go for a tidal wave. We'll see how much that can do. Or we can probably go for... Yeah, let's go for a tidal wave. I think we if we can uh, at least uh, land it here perfectly. Oh, I think that was six. I think we're going to do at least, I think, about six or five damage. But either way, it should kind of be... Uh, very helpful at least. Yeah, so six damage. That's perfect. I'll take it Even though that oh here we go. He's gonna get powered up here. Oh, he actually does have uh, some electricity going on Okay, maybe I should probably go out for another extra Super jump charge just in case I don't think I have the zap tap badge with me So that's gonna be a little bit of a, of, of a tricky situation that we're gonna be running on into here. So Okay, at least we do have the tidal wave a little bit more. Okay, there we go. So we'll kind of set this up a little bit. So I think this time around, that actually did a lot more damage from before. So I think it'll probably now at least do seven. No, it still does six. Okay. Maybe may probably go for a jam and jelly out here. Oh, no. Hey, look at that. We blocked it. Okay, so I think his electricity is now gone at this point, And I think I could probably go and set up for a power bounce at this point. So let's do it. All right, there we go. Eight damage, seven damage. All right, so far so good. Brought him down to 12, so that's awesome. All right, now we just gonna go and just do something like this here. All right, belly flop for that extra five. Perfect. Uh-oh. Well, you know what? We still got ourselves with the extra star uh, type of storm. We got the PK star storm, so we'll go and use this out to our ability and just completely destroy him out here. Look at that. He only has seven. I have the seven attack damage from this guy, so go and do it, Skalar. Go and knock him down. Yep, and just like that, that blooper is finished. Oh man, look at that. Got ourselves all the way up to 69. Well, that's a nice good way to get our star points up to that level. <laughs> Alright, we got ourselves the Shrink Stop Badge. So if it works, the enemy shrinks as his hack power decreases. That's actually pretty nice, if I have to say so myself. So grabbing out something like that, that can pretty much help against with the Ketsy Koopa fight probably as well too. To make him all shrinked up so that you don't have to really worry about him. 
Okay, but I think for now, we should probably get ourselves healed back over at Toad Town. And, uh, I think we'll just have to figure out our exact spot, I want to say. I think we have to go down, I think, that hole. Because I know that there are some sushi spots around where uh, we can go and um, head on over to, I think, to our next destination, which is from there. Alright, so let's go to Toad Town we go. Alright, well, you know what? I think what I'll do is that I'll uh, cut this part out, guys, and I'll see you when I actually go and uh, manage to head on over to our next destination from here. Oh, <laughs> alright, guys. Well, I am back once again, and I think I figured out on where we do need to go over to next. So it seems like we got ourselves another blooper fight. It's always one blooper after the other, and this time we got ourselves the big boy blooper. This guy is uber massive, so I think first things first that we should probably go and do is just like from before with the last blooper, is just go and literally uh, set up for a chill out and then go and set up for a water blocking, just so that I don't have to really worry about this guy all that too much. Alright, let's go for a water block just in case here. It's a good thing that I went and healed up before, uh, oh come on, are you serious? Okay, well at least we have it for two turns, I think we'll be alright. Okay, it's only for a short time, but we should be okay here. Oh, man, look at this guy. Oh, he only does, like, one damage, but at least we're not confused. That's perfect. Okay, let's go for an S-jump charge out here. Perfect. All right. And I think for now, we should probably just go and set for some tidal waves as well in the process. All right. B down, B down. All right. Did I do that perfectly? Hopefully so. Can we at least do seven damage? Because I think that's the max that we can only do uh, with sushi. So I think it's six. All right. So we run down to 64. All right. He's going to start powering up. Oh, man. Look at this. Oh, no. And he uh, pooped out some uh, some of his babies out here. Well, that's good. <laughs> that's not good at all. Um, okay. Hmm. What to do? What to do? Should I just go and start for a nice jump charge? I think I should. All right. Now, I think up next that we should probably go and do at this point is then just go for a tidal wave once again, and let's be down a... Okay, I think we got it. I think that at least knocks out some of his uh, friends out here, and that should be fine, at least. And then I can just go and hopefully get some extra damage. Okay, so there's only one of these guys left here. Oh, no! Oh, run away! Oh, these guys are annoyed. They actually healed themselves back up. Oh, man. Okay, so I guess I have to use that jam and jelly at this point. I wasn't really wanting to go ahead and do it, but that's my only option. Oh, no. This man is, yeah, is super pumped up at this point. Okay. Uh, we should probably go and start for a Star Storm immediately. Just so that I don't have to really worry about uh, how much damage does this guy's going to go and pretty much go and do at this point. Okay. There we go. That takes care of that. Okay. Uh, let's go and start for water blocking as well, too. Because I would like to make sure that that's going to be with us for a while. Now, we may probably potentially die here. Because I don't know how much damage that this guy's going to potentially go and do at this point. Oh, six damage. Double amount of six damage. Wow. Okay. Um... Well, you know what I could go and do is that I could probably just go out for my jumping attack power right now, to be exact. All right, there we go. All right, perfect. All right, just keep on doing this for a while. Nice. All right, round down to 19. Okay, uh, we're not going to do anything. We'll just have to just kind of wait and find out what else that we can go and do. Ugh. Okay, um... We'll have to go for a shooting star, maybe, and then just go for another type of attack, I guess. Or maybe we could go for a belly flop. Mm, this is going to be really challenging because I don't really know what I'm going to do. I think I may potentially just want to go and heal first before I go and use up a shooting star. Because I know that that's going to become an issue. That's not going to... If that's going to become a problem. Alright, we should probably just go for a belly flop. I don't know how much damage this is going to do, but... It does five, so that's not bad. There we go. Uh-oh. He's gonna be powering up. Oh, no. We got some followers. Okay. Um, let's just go and basically get a shooting star out here. And let's just go and light this up. 
and knock out everybody at this point because the shooting star should at least be able to just go and at least do some bit of damage out there take care of those guys oh for a belly flop I'm gonna hold off on to that jam and jelly man I'm not gonna use it up just yet uh oh he's powered up for more oh, okay this could be bad okay we're just gonna go for a regular jumping attack let's just go for it nice and nice thank you Yes, big blooper guy is out of the way, and with the power of Merlin, we get some more extra star points out here as well, too. So, perfect. Look at that. That's five. That's a whole level up right there. Nice. All right, so we're going to go right on over to the FP next. So, perfect. Wow, look at that, man. And let's go and hit this here. There, and there we go. So now we got ourselves a pipe that can actually lead back to maybe back to Flower Fields or something at this point. Whoa! Alright, I think we got one of these guys again. Oh, great. Okay, well, I think just like from before, we'll just have to go for a power quake and make sure that these guys get completely toppled over as well. We got ourselves the, uh, the brand new type of Buzzy Beetles out here as well. Tidal Wave, let's just go for it. Just knock out everybody at this point. Oh, wow, that was actually the most easiest one, I think, by far, that we had for Sushi out for this one. But, yeah, Sushi's gonna be my main prime type of partner out here, just to knock out any of these guys around. So, perfect. <laughs> Look at that, it just only has, like, only, like, about, like, only one. <laughs> one star point out here. Nice, and a power block as well. Okay. Now, if you guys see from here, this is where I think we do need Lackluster, because I think if we headed into here from before... Uh, we wouldn't have Luck Luster uh, for this little segment. But yeah, this is where uh, we would potentially be heading over to. It would just be down in that section. Uh, let's go and see if there's... Oh, God. No, 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 no. I'm not in the mood for a battle with you, man. Now, I think here we don't really have the extra jumping. So we can't really go in and hit that right away. Oh, here we go. Now, I think there could be something hidden around here, is there? Hmm. This feels like a hidden area. Yeah. But I don't think we can do it yet. Oh, there's the door. Okay. So, let me see. Uh, let's go ahead into this pipe then. Yeah, because I think that's the Shiver City door that we kind of have to head on into. Now, I think... Do we need the power with Bombette? Maybe. This feels like a, a Bombette type of solution out here. Just blow it up. Yep. And all through this door, and hey, well, look at that. We got uh, a friend out here. Well, well, looky here. Hello, my name is Rip Cheeto at your service. Rip Cheeto. Uh, you, my friend, have just stumbled into a great fortune. I have a deal for you. Well, it cost you something special. It cost you six to four coins. Uh, we're not going to buy it. Okay, pinch uh, for your pennies. It's a real shame that they have so amazing. Well, I could go and be gone when you go and come back. Hmm. Now, I'm not really too entirely certain if this guy is something that we could probably rely on to. I don't think. Because it's been a while since I've seen that guy before. I don't know if he's going to be probably kind of like the Chet Ripple guy as well, too. Where he's going to pretty much rip you off on a badge. Which I don't think uh, we should really go and try and do. Whoa, 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 whoa. Run away. Run away from that guy. Oh, my God. This guy is not stopping anytime soon. Okay, so I know that there was something here for Lackluster before we go and head up into, uh, into the Silver City section. But this one's something uh, interesting to go and pretty much see. Now, I don't know if we can go and do this just yet. Yes, we can, actually. Uh, but just have to watch out for these guys. Well, oh, no, it's another one. Ah! Ouch. Oh. Well, at least uh, we didn't get ourselves completely injured, so that's fine. Um, let's just go and set up for a star storm. Let's go and absolutely demolish these guys out of here. I'm not in the mood for uh, any more of these guys around. There we go. Just destroy you guys. Get out of here. Nice. Alright, so that's perfect. Huh. Well, there we go. Oh, that's perfect. Got out those spiny beetles out of the way. Or I should just say the spinies. Wow. Oh, there's actually a stone section around in here. Hmm. There's so much to just literally just explore around in the sewers. It's pretty crazy. If you kind of think about it. Now, we do have the Ultra Hammer. Ah, and here we go. And I think, with that being said in mind, we can uh, head back, I think, into... Uh, ah, here we go. I think we got ourselves the uh, upgraded boots. 
Yes, we do. We actually have the Ultra Boots. The attack power for the Mario's jump has increased. Nice. So I think that is the last of the upgrades that are here. So yeah, this badge, I think in particular, is going to be the badge that is going to help me out, I think, the most when it comes to uh, Kensi Koopa. So it's kind of a good idea that I actually picked up this badge before. So I think what I'm going to probably have to do is maybe end off this episode a little bit early. And uh, we'll have to come back uh, to, to the uh, chapter of Shiver City uh, a little bit later. Alright guys, so I am back, and I just went and uh, got out of that annoying spiny situation that we had to go and literally run on over into. Uh, but I think uh, what I'm going to do here is I am going to go and end off this episode uh, out here for today, guys. Uh, I am going to go and take care of the Kent C. Koopa battle off screen, and then I will be heading onwards back to where Shiver City is going to be. And uh, we'll try and manage to uh, head on over uh, to uh, that place within the next episode. Even even though that unfortunately I don't really uh, have the time to head on over to Silver City right now. But I'll see you guys in the next one. And of course, peace.